Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Ad Creative AI. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be wondering, how do you use adcreative.ai here? Well, using it is actually a pretty simple, but we'll be discussing the basics first. So first thing we need to do is we need to go to their official website, which is going to be adcreative.ai. In this case, I'm going to remove the other sections on this URL so that we'll be able to see the actual main homepage here. Now, in this case, as you can see, the first thing you should see here is number one most used AI tool for advertising. Now, in this case, we need to start for free. So if you're wondering, Ad Creative here is a paid service, but you could try their services for free for a few days. So in this case, let's go and click on try for free now, and it should redirect you to the sign up page. Now, in this case, you have two options, or let me just say three options here. You have the sign up with Google or sign up with Microsoft. But if you don't want to use your Google or your Microsoft account, you could actually sign up manually by entering your full name, your email, as well as your password. So for now, we are going to maybe sign up with our Google account. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And from here, let's go ahead and choose our email address. Now, once you've done that, let's go ahead and continue. And from here, it should direct us to the section here that says Ad Creative AI wants to access your Google account. So in this case, it's going to associate you with Google personal information, see your personal information, including your any personal and see your primary Google account email address. So let's go ahead and click on continue. And from here, it should direct you directly into the sign up page. So let's just wait for it. So it's going to redirect you to the login page. So let's just wait for it. And from here, you should be able to enter the following details. So in this case, for you to try Ad Creative, Creative here for seven days, you need to enter the following information that includes the company name here, the card holder full name, card number, the month and year of the uh, expiration of that card, the CVV, as well as the country of that specific card. Now in this case, uh, enter your car details here so that you'll be able to complete the registration. So let's go ahead and enter those details. Now, once you've provided all the details, you should be able to see this UI here. Now, the first thing you need to do here is you need to set up your brand. Now, for Ad Creative to actually help you on creating your ads or your posts or your copy, you first need to provide some information about your brand first. So if you already have a website, like for example, you have a Shopify website, well, in this case, you could just basically enter the URL of your website and they will actually import or get the details from the website itself and make it so that it's actually in adcreative.ai. Now, in this case, if you don't have a website and just want to input the entire details here, well, you could just basically manually enter all the details here. Like for example, we have the right brand name and description. So first is you have your brand name here. So for example, I have a brand that is going to be uh, a shop here, which is Gen Z shop. And we also want to include a short description. So for example, uh, we, uh, we sell clothes and accessories. So this is just an uh, example, but I recommend you to import your uh, details here as much as you can if you have. Now, the more uh, detailed you are with your descriptions here, the more details the, that Ad Creative could actually give you. But in this case, we are going to proceed with this one. Let's go ahead and click on save and continue. And we now need to enter or provide our brand logo. In this case, let's go ahead and click on upload a logo here. And for example, I want to basically use a sample logo here. Let's, let me just upload this one. So this is what I'm talking about. So this is, an, this is just an example. So let's go ahead and click on remove background. And it should start removing the background itself. But once the background is removed, we could go ahead and just click on the confirm logo here. So sometimes it's going to say we could not remove the background of your logo, putting a one without the PNG and highly recommended. But for now, let's go ahead and click on confirm logo here. Now, in this case, you have to select your brand color. Now, in this case, whenever you actually upload your colors here, as you can see, this is the brand color we uploaded. So this is going to be the suggested brand colors that we could use for our uh, 
brand. In this case, you could go ahead and just change the brand colors here, like brand color one, just click on it, and you should be able to see or basically set the value for it. Now, if you want to set the hex value here or RGB here, you could go ahead and do that because uh, most of the time we actually have a brand portfolio, which a lot of cases are your, uh, for example, uh, if you're an owner and you have a designer, typically they provide the hex uh, code on it or the hex tag on it for you to actually set or see the actual color, the exact color that they use. Now, in this case, uh, if you want to use from the AI recommended colors here, you go ahead and do that. But for now, let's go ahead and click on save and continue. And from here, if you want to further set up and use the advanced features here, just click on advanced setup and you should be able to basically add your ad accounts from different platforms like Meta ads, LinkedIn ads, Google ads, Pinterest ads, and alternative logos if you have those and select your own font if you have your own font. Now in this case, uh, we are now good to go. So let's go and click on create brand and it should create your brand here. So this might take a few seconds. So let's just wait for it. Now, once you've created your own brand here, it's going to redirect you to generate a section. Now generating your own, like for example, your ad creatives for photo ads here, ad video, social creatives, ad text, ad package, batch creatives, you should be able to generate yours in this page here. But in this case, we first need to determine what type of uh, ad that we want to create. So for example, ad creatives here, so generate conversion focus and add creatives for your products and services in seconds using AI. But if you use your product photo ads here, it actually transforms your pro, uh, product photo into a professional looking shoot with AI generated environments. Like for example, if you have a PNG format of your product, like for example, a perfume or a t-shirt, you can actually provide that via product uh, photo ads here and you should be able to actually create your own ads for that specific product only. Now, if you want to use ad videos from the name itself, create a uh, focus uh, videos for your uh, account or create ads using uh, with videos. You also have the social uh, creatives here, which in this case generates engagement focused social media post creatives, meaning this is mostly used like for example, for social media posts, like for example, Facebook, Instagram, or uh, whatnot. You also have the ad text here, it helps you actually create your copy for your ads. Also have the ad package, so generate strategies and creative text. So it's most of a like a package. So sometimes ad creatives or photo, photo product photo ads and ad text are going to be combined like that. You also have the batch creatives here to create create uh generate creative in badges using multiple background product images with a single product. So think of the batch creatives here as uh, a multiple version of product photo ads. But in this case, it's going to be in batch creative, so you could choose your own environment or background. But for now, we're going to use the default one here, which is going, it's just going to be add creative. So let's go and click on it. And from here, we need to set our uh, details or our uh, properties here. So first is going to be the social media size. So we have post size here, which is square, landscape size, story size, portrait size, or pin. So for example, I'm actually creating a, let's just say an Instagram post here. So I'm going to focus with a square format. Now I also have the display size here. So you have medium banner, leaderboard, or wide, scra uh, wide skyscraper, the half page here or leaderboard. Now in this case, you could choose one of them if you want to create your banners or leaderboards. But for now, we are going to use post size here, click on next. And from here, we need to add our text on our image. So our main headline is where you'll be able to uh, enter them. So for example, I'm going to say uh, this is the main headline. And from here, let's just say this is going to be the punchline. And from here, let's just say call to action. Now in this case, you can just input whatever you want in here. So it does uh, it does not actually really matter. But in this case, let's go ahead and click on call to action icon here. Let's just choose the uh, icon I want to use. So for example, I want to use this one. Now in this case, uh, if you also want to use the other sections here, which in this case you can translate, you can change the sentiment here. You can change, uh, change suggest variations of what you created here. So in this case, uh, stylish essential weight, uh, dress to impress here. So you could use that if you want to. And we also have the shortened text here. So if you have a really, really long one here, you can shorten it by this uh, tool here. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on next step for us to proceed. And from here, we need to upload our background image. 
So you could basically upload your own, but for now, I'm going to start using stock images here. So let's just say this is going to be for uh, modern attire. Let's go and choose that one. And from here, maybe I want to use one of the free ones here. So maybe I want to use this one. Now from here, it should get a photo. And from here, you could also give a project name from, from what you're currently generating. So as you can see at the top right here, you should be able to also see what it's going to look like. Like dress to impress here, punchline, and call to action here. So in this case, you could uh, again uh, customize it on the previous page. But for now, let's go ahead and name this as a test project. And from here, let's go and click on generate. Now it's going to start analyzing what you pro what details you provided as well as the uh, portfolio or the brand that you have right now. So in this case, uh, let's just wait for it to complete the generation process. So let's go ahead and wait. Now once the generation is complete, this is what you're going to look like. So in this case, uh, this is what it's the first um, post or uh, generation is going to look like. You have our second and third and uh, a lot more. So in this case, you could just basically choose whatever format that you want here. So for example, if you really like a specific section here, you could actually add a star on them. Like for example, I really like this one. Let's go ahead and add a star on it. And it's going to add that into our favorite creative. So in this case, if you want to edit it in the future or if you want to make this as a reference later on, you could go ahead and do that. So if you want to download a specific uh, type of a post here, let's go and click on download here. And it's going to start the download for that specific uh, creative. Now in this case, uh, the tree a free trial here, you actually have credits. So currently I got 10 credits, but since I don't downloaded one, it's, go it's going to now be nine credits. Now in this case, uh, you could just basically edit whatever you want to edit here. Now in this case, you might be wondering how do you other view your other projects, your other brands. So if you're currently in a, a brand here like what we did before, this is going to be the projects that we uh, will be seeing. So in this case, since we created a test project, as you can see, it's now in the project section. So if you want to create a new one, just click on create the project here. And again, choose what type of creative you want to generate. Now, if you want to change your brand, like for example, you're just a social media manager and you want to handle multiple projects or multiple brands, you can just basically create your new brand here and enter the same details here that includes your brand name, description, your logo, brand colors, and a lot of those details. But yeah, so in this case, we want to choose this one. So once we go back into projects, this is what you'll be, you'll be able to see it. Now, in this case, uh, that's about it. So those are the basics on how to use Add Creative AI here. And that's it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.